Today we're going to learn about zero pairs. Before we can do that, we need a little background information. On your screen you can see a number line. A typical number line has positive numbers located to the right side of zero and negative numbers located to the left side of zero. In business, when a company is doing well and making a profit, we say they're in the black. So we're going to use the black numbers to sig signify the positive numbers. When a company is not doing well, when it's losing money, we say they're in the red. So red is going to be the color of our negative numbers. This chart is going to help us organize our numbers and compare them and in the end ask ourselves who wins and by how much. The negatives are on one team and the positives are on another. So let's look at negative 3 and positive 5. As an expression we could write this two ways. We could say negative 3 plus 5 or the equivalent expression of 5 minus 3. In English, we learn that nouns are things. And when we count nouns, a number that describes those nouns is an adjective. So we're going to use nouns and adjectives to help us understand these numbers better. On the negative side, the noun is the negative. The number of negatives is the adjective. Three describes how many negatives we have. The same thing applies to the positive side. Our noun is positive and our adjective is five. Five describes how many positives we have. And you can see the chips on the screen. Now a zero pair is essentially a tie. For every point the negatives get, as the positives have one point as well, you end up with a tie each one of those pairs is a zero pair. So we're going to rearrange our chips so that we can see our zero pairs a little bit better. As we remove the zero pairs, we come up with ex equivalent expressions and in the end we end up with positive two. The positives win by two.